Hello, it's XQO. If your monitor is 60Hz, it can probably be overclocked to 75, 70 or at least 65Hz. To check this, I will share with you a program called CRU, your custom resolution utility. It works with both AMD and NVIDIA. So why should you overclock? Overclocking your monitor will surely benefit your gaming experience, especially if you're on a 60Hz monitor. High refresh rate provides you with a smoother gameplay and desktop experience by decreasing input latency. Is it safe to overclock? Most likely. Internal safety features in the monitor won't let it burn itself when you change your refresh rate to something that it cannot support. The monitor will simply be black, waiting for a PC to revert changes, and it certainly will not hurt checking a few games on a higher than usual refresh rate. Also, try googling your monitor's model and see if people are overclocking it with or without problems. Speaking of my experience, none of my three generic monitors had any issues upgrading from 60 to 75Hz. Open your NVIDIA control panel by pressing right mouse button on desktop. Select Change Resolution under Display tab, click Customize button on the bottom left and finally click Create Custom Resolution. From there, you can test the refresh rate that your monitor can handle. Try going 75, 72, 70, 65, but do not apply anything. Just check if something higher than your standard refresh rate works without the screen being dark or pixelated. In my case, 75Hz will be the highest my monitor can go. Why not apply settings right now? Surely you can apply those settings and create new resolutions inside NVIDIA control panel and they will work fine. But not always. In the case of Apex Legends, for example, it will not. Whilst my refresh rate on desktop is definitely 75Hz, in-game it is still 60 and the game doesn't allow changing refresh rate like, say, Siege. That is why we used NVIDIA only to test. In Serial Program, we will override the false completely. The link to the download page will be in the description, or you can just google Serial Download. The download link will be at the very top of the page. Open the loaded zip file and extract 4 executables to whatever location. Launch CRU.exe. Right here you will need to add a new detailed resolution with a new refresh rate. You can delete or leave the previous detailed resolution too. Then delete all standard resolutions if you have any. Check the left side and untick refresh rates you do not wish to use. After all that, close CRU and launch Reset or Reset64 depending on your system. If everything is fine, head over to your NVIDIA control panel and you should see your new refresh rate. For my previous monitors, the changes were already on, but with my current one, I need to scroll down to PC resolutions and select it. And then that's it, it's done, congratulations! But additionally, I have one more tweak. I highly recommend you to watch my video on RTSS if you haven't yet. After posting that video, I figured out a way of finding the right value for scanning sync option. In both Zero and NVIDIA panel when you create new resolutions, there is a vertical total value. In my case, it is 1125. If you take that value, subtract it by your monitor's vertical resolution and add a minus to it, you will get the right value to lock the Turing line at the very top of your screen, making it truly invisible. Huge thanks to you for watching this video. My videos come out rarely, but I put a lot of effort into researching the topic and making it as short as possible. Subscribe to my channel if you support the content I do. Thank you, and see you in the next video.